Hello and welcome to my ANA Crown Plaza Niigata Japan review. This is a four-star hotel under the IHG hotel brand and in this review I'm going to cover amenities, what it has for example a gym, as well as the room itself and the tour around that and just a walk around the hotel and just my final thoughts on the hotel itself so let's get into it. So we're going to go through a quick room tour but this is just the lobby tour quickly just to give you a look. So yeah. All right, so we're doing the first impressions of the room. We just came in. Uh, we'll take a look at the bathroom first. Thank you. So it looks like pretty standard shower and bath. I mean, it has a bath. That's, that's cool. A Japanese toilet. Yeah, so there's a vanity here. Um, so yeah, pretty standard bathroom. Really bright lights, actually. And now if we go to the main room, it's, I mean, it's, the lights are quite... What do you call it? Yellow. No, this is like full-on space gray controls. Yeah, this is what's interesting. This bed, being this bed is taking off. off. We're taking off to space in 1960. We're, we're landing on the moon for the first time. What is this? What the flying? I was saying that they do controls in that age really well. Yeah. Not so, like today, it's all touch capacitors. True. So it's very simple. You got aircon high, medium, and low off. Um, does this thing even? I think this is. Is this like fake? Because the aircon controls are over there. So is this like? No, that's a radio. Oh, this is. Oh, a, no, sorry, sorry. But is it aircon? Oh yeah, you're right. But does this I, thing I work? I feel like that one does nothing. Oh no, this one works. Right. The stands work. I don't think the radio works. I mean, the time works. The aircon. My 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 question is the, the aircon. I feel like the aircon doesn't work. Mm. Like, Fair enough. This is the aircon. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Okay, cool. Um, I like many of the Japanese hotels I've been to. It doesn't have a humidifier here. Okay. Uh, there's a little safe. I mean, little. Uh, Aramax. What's that? This does Illinois, USA. This. A kettle. This hotel is very American. It's the best way to put it. Um, but it's an ISG hotel. Alright, what have we got here? This is just, I guess, a cos mini closet. It's like the style of a 19, 1970s airline. I agree. This feels like a 90s, 70s hotel that just got refurbished with a Japanese toilet the and a TV. Is very nice, it looks like the, the, the yeah, the bathroom's definitely renovated. Okay. Is that toilet, though? What the hell? It's like yellow and stained. It's got that classic 1970s. That's a Toto toilet. Beige. It's a Toto toilet. <laughs> Look at the beige though. Alright, well there you go. There's the first impressions. Okay, so this is the stuff you can request. Amenities, sewing kit, shower cap, sanitary bag, shoe polish, nail files, soap, face care kit, vanity kit, and hand towel. And then equipment, a trouser press, I don't know what that is. Or like just, plus chuck. Um, I guess it's to maintain the creases in, yeah. in an orange trouser. A humidifier, an iron, ice pack, thermometer, blanket, pillow, bottle opener, extension cord, overseas adapter, and mobile phone charger. Well, there you go. Alright, let's go check out the rest. So this restaurant has, as I mentioned, five fine restaurants. So as you can see here, there's a photo studio, a shrine. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. No, I haven't. I'm just trying to see which one's the... Does it even have hotels? I mean, does it even have... Oh, wait, wait. Where's the gym then? I'm looking at it. All right, so we found it. It's in the fit... We found a fitness room. It's over here. It's a bit outside on lo level one. They don't actually say it where it is, but there is one here. We're gonna want to take a quick look. It's pretty fancy, not gonna lie. Is anyone inside? I need some. I got it. Of course. Right, Holy shit, look how space this is. It seems kind of inefficient. All right, so what we got? We got some treadmills. We got a really large amount of space here, some weight balls, and bikes, dumbbells, and that's about it. This is an amazing quality fitness room in terms of decor, but the actual amenities is lacking. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, the actual facility looks nice. But the amount of stuff, equipment is I feel like lacking. I need to go running. I could try it now. Yeah. Oh, there's some bands there. And then you got a change room here. Alright, so we just checked out the fitness room. I mean, it looks nice, but 
Um, facility is a bit lacking, but if you see a treadmill, it has it. There's a fitness center here. The last hotel I went to didn't have one, so I mean, at least it has one, right? So final impressions of the hotel, it has a gym, it has parking, the room's all right. I think overall a pretty decent budgety type four star hotel. Um, and yeah, I think overall pretty decent stay. I'd, I'd recommend it. It's actually probably better and more spacious than a lot of Japanese hotels would say that. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed that review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a bunch of other hotel, airline, and just Japanese content coming out. So yeah, keep tuned and stay safe.